but hit and run make you make you stop and think talk through it me not like no 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 sing it none man woman don't care hi every woman should be like jamaican celebrity jenny jenny what is that let us listen what it is you're committed so how long have i been married we're not talking ring now we're okay. talking from 1995 one man same man one person to have sex with one man in my life and so me look good me not tired so therefore that's how long what's 19 wow so jennifer has burst that big news on all of jamaica and all of the world that she has only been with one man all her life she has only had sex with one man all her life wow that came as a surprise to me when jennifer burst that big news we have heard all sort of rumors that jennifer is with this person is with that person jennifer burst the big news that hey she has only had sex with one man all her life so proud i'm very proud of jennifer i celebrate jennifer for that i'm very proud of jennifer but guess what this is how it was in the bible days as you know that's the foundation that i go by this is how it was in the bible days and this is how god really intended it to be men back in the days came to a woman asked the, a father for a woman assuming and expecting that that woman is a virgin men in the bible days expected that the woman that they were going to marry is a virgin and and women would pride themselves in the fact that they are virgins and that is how it is supposed to be that is the standard that women are supposed to maintain a woman is not supposed to give her body to a man until she is sure or she's convinced that that man promises to stay with her for the rest of his life and not just stay with her promises to live with her for the rest of his life and plans to take care of her for the rest of his life that is the standard that a woman should really go by do not give yourself over to a man until that man promises to spend the rest of his life with you and guess what the best way to confirm that is to get that in writing which is why modern day marriage kind of makes sense because guess what as opposed to biblical days you have something in writing from the person that says that hey i am marrying you and i'm planning on spending the rest of my life with you until death do us part which is why modern day marriage makes sense you need to get something in writing, a commitment from the person that says that I am committed with, to spend the rest of my life with you. I guess that's why women are so protected in marriage. Because a woman can leave a marriage and end up with half of what the man had when the man walk away. Or if, the, if, 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 if divorce comes along. And the same standard should be maintained from a man from a man point of view as well. A man should come approach a woman saying to, to himself that, okay... If I am going to have sex with this woman, then I should have the mindset that I am going to spend the rest of my life with this woman and take care of this woman for the rest of my life. But women are gatekeepers. Women own sex while men own relationship. That's a different topic. So a man cannot have, should not be able to have sex with you unless you allow him to. And obviously if a man force himself up on you, then that's a red flag right there. He's supposed to end up in prison. So I won't even go there. If a man does the art thing unto you or force himself upon you um he's supposed to end up in prison so i'm not even going to focus on that because men are supposed to be gentlemen man as men are supposed to love the woman while women are supposed to respect and submit to the man but the all of those are different topics that's the standard and that was the standard in bible as a matter of fact i'm going to put up the bible verses on screen where back in those days because the man expected the woman to be a virgin so much and that is the standard that was set. There was a law that was actually set for it. So if the man actually married a woman and has intercourse with the woman and realized that the woman is not a virgin, he was allowed to go to the mother and father and say, hey, she lied to me, she deceived me, I thought she was a virgin, she's not a virgin. So I am going to put her away because of that. It was that serious. Men expected women to only have one body count and that one body count is them for the first time but the world is changing so much the standard of the world has dropped so much that's why i hate the songs that shensia is singing right now that jennifer herself hit out against hit and run hit and run hit and run no 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 
Make it a hit and run. But hit and run make you, make you stop and think. Talk to it. So you have two persons with hit and run. Those who do the hitting and the running. And those who say, but should a woman or should a girl be singing it? Me not like no, 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 sing it. None. Man, woman, don't care. Why is it relationships can't have substance? Me naive are, that's fine. Me all right with being a naive. But why we vagina have to run from one parish to the next? Why we have to hit it here so, run it there so. Run it there so, hit it there so. And, and, and why you have to have a bag of woman? Like, why am I not enough? I am still saying that if it is your unhappy in a relationship, leave it. Women supposed to maintain that standard. No hit and run around here. A man is supposed to promise to spend the rest of his life with you. You show that man is going to take care of you and live with you for the rest of his life. Before you decide to open up your legs onto that man, that is the standard. And young females that are coming up now that have not lost your virginity as yet, don't give up yourself. Don't give up yourself. Find a man that thinks like a man that is willing to take care of you and, and provide your basic needs. If you are not in a position to do it, he knows that as a man, it is his responsibility to take care of you. Yes, it's a bonus. And plus in this modern day when women can actually go out and work and, and earn as well and help. But find the men that have it in the back of their head that, hey, if you are not able to provide, it's their responsibility to provide. Find the good men that you're going to open up yourself unto and be sure that that man is willing to spend the rest of his life. It is no hit and run around here and stick and run, as Oral Tracy is saying. No stick and run. I know hit and run, as Shensha is saying. The society needs to change and get back to those days when the standards were high. Get back to those days when the standards were high. Comment below and let me know what you think. Share these videos with the, little, with the young girls, with the teenagers out there. Let them know how they, how where their mind is supposed to be, how they are supposed to be thinking. Don't let these celebrities that are putting up themselves naked all over the internet influence you into lowering your standards as women. You are gatekeepers. Be sure that that man is going to commit to you. And the best way to be sure is in marriage. At least you have something in writing where at the end of the day, if he, if he breaks that contract, you are getting most of what he has already has as property. That's why it, it kind of makes sense, the laws that you have right now, where even if the woman comes into the marriage and the man already has property, when she's leaving that marriage, she gets half of his property because he promised to marry you. It means that he has responsibility, most, most of the responsibility to protect and provide for you. So if he breaks that contract, you if he breaks that contract, you get half of what he had. Because he broke the contract. Please, woman, be like Jamaican celebrity Jenny Jenny. One man all her life. That is that is the standard that we're supposed to be maintaining. I've always wished that I could commit to one woman for, for, for the rest of my life. That's why I'd gotten married. Hoping that I could commit to one woman for the rest of my life. And love that woman and take care of that woman. That is what I wanted old days the constitution that god set man that needs to come back into this modern day time man this liberalization where a woman are saying that hey we want to be like men and men be like men it was basically an abomination for a woman to have simultaneous partners at once it was an abomination it was me women were committed to one man and that man had responsibility to take care of those women and take care of that woman but society standard has changed so much so let me know what you think about this. Let us discuss this in the comment section below. If you are watching this channel for the first time or not, I recommend that you hit that subscribe button below and hit that bell so that you can be notified when I release these life-changing videos. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.